Welcome to IGM Guru. IGM Guru is one of the global leading online training and certification provider for IT expert by the skilled IT gurus to help them achieve their professional goals. How a generative AI can help the data validation team. So in the data validation team, what kind of a work that we have in the data validation teams, basically our work is what kind of a distribution that we have? Do we have any data quality issue? So in the data quality issue, what we can have is in the data quality issue, we have, if I have a numerical column, I want to check that, I want to check that whether my data is follow the normal distribution or not. If data is not following the normal distribution, it is a problem for us because if a data is left skew or the right skew, it will be a biased data. If my intention is to build a machine learning model, then it will affect the things. Then after that pattern matching and the validation. Sometimes we have a column which should follow some pattern. The pattern is that like for example, I have the sales data. So in the sales data, every Sunday the shop is closed. So I should have the value zero in the sales column. Every Sunday we should have the zero in the sales column. So it may be possible that by mistake while preparing the data, they may enter some value, wrong value. Okay. So, so, but, but it's not possible because every Sunday the shop is closed. So we have to check that whether a particular data is following it, the data is following the uh, the proper validation or the pattern that we have we are expecting then after that the next part is the entity resolution and the deduplication so entity resolution is is a also a very very serious concern the concern is that sometimes what happen is that I have the data, I have the data where I have the entity like for example passenger names. I have the data where I have the passenger name or the client, let's take the passenger name. I have this data and somewhere while preparing this data, somewhere mentioned the somebody mentioned that uh, S Raj Kumar. So somebody mentioned uh, the entry S Raj Kumar, and then corresponding to these things, we have the ticket number. Ticket number is. 2101 and then after that we have the source source is Delhi and then destination is also Delhi so destination is Bangalore so now I have the entry where her passenger name is S Rajkumar ticket number is this one Delhi is this 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 I got the data from another source. I got the data from the another source where the passenger name is written Santosh Rajkumar and ticket number is also 201. Source is also Delhi and destination is the Bangalore. So if I show you, if, if we see this data, if I simply check the, if I simply check on the Python, whether we have the, whether we have the duplication row, whether we have the duplicate row or not, Python will tell me that there is no duplication. Am I right guys? Because Python is a, you were a case sensitive language, Python will, Python don't have the intelligence to understand that okay S Rajkumar and Santosh Rajkumar both are same. 
because the respective entities are the same. So no, Python doesn't have this kind of intelligence. So Python will say that there is no duplicate values. But in the real time scenarios, but in the real time, this passenger name S Rajkumar and Santosh Rajkumar both are the same. So this is also a data quality issue that we have. We call these things as a entity duplication. Entity duplication. So in this entity duplications, we have to check that whether it can, it can be possible with any of these things. For example, uh, all the data are same, but somebody mentioned the Delhi and uh, somebody mentioned we are getting some data from the other source and they are just using the code for the Delhi. The code is the DEL and for the Bangalore, the code is the BLR. It is also possible that all the data is same. So 2010. And here the name is also the S Rajkumar. But now they are mentioning, they are just maintaining the things into the DEL and the BLR. It is possible then. And most common issues, why this issue happens? Because we are taking the data from the different source. So one data that your source, you are taking from the, for example, flight data, uh, flight, specific flight data. And uh, now you are fetching the data from the uh, uh, monthly monthly passenger data. So it may be possible that within these airlines industries, uh, airlines industries is, is maintaining the different different tables. And where in the flight 717 data, if you are fetching out, which is nothing but your Delhi to Bangalore flight, they are while storing the data they are using the pin code for del and the blr similarly if we talk about the monthly passenger data which client uh, which airlines is also maintaining they while maintaining the customer data we will discuss about this uh, uh, entity duplication so entity duplication means that when we are fetching the data from the different source Due to the different abbreviations or due to the different data formatting, we get the data in the different format, but but when we merge together, they are nothing but the same data. Like as I, as I mentioned that, just because of the DEL and the BLR, again, we cannot say that it's a duplicate data. Means, based on the Python logic, we cannot say that it's a duplicate data, but in the real time, it is a duplicate data. So this is the one of the issue that we have in the data data uh, assessment team. So for the data assessment team, one is the your data quality. In the data quality, we here for the uh, for the categorical continuous columns, we have to check the normal distribution. And uh, for the categorical columns, we have to check the frequency or you can say that balance of my frequencies, frequency balance. Then after that, the second issue that we found is the entity, entity resolution. May possible that my entity is are the duplicate and but as i mentioned that the format is different that's why python is not able to capture whether it's a duplicate or not but we can use some kind of a rules definitely in the in the daily practice we set up the rules like for example i want to check that whether this column contain the daily and dl so what i will do is i will perform the value count function to check the frequency of the each category and if i found in the data if i found the dl is coming 70 times and del is also coming as a 70 times the more chance is that this data gets duplicated means that we are getting we are getting the data from the different source which contain the 70 rows for representing the delhi as a del and from the different source when i import the delhi it is, is contained the DEL HIAJ Delhi. So this kind of a issues is we check during the data assessment. 
apart from these things, uh, if you see, apart from this thing is the data transformation validation. So in the data transformation validation, what happened is, like for example, for example, in the last lecture, if you see this thing in the last lecture, we implement a logic. We implemented a logic that uh, if my annual income is, if my annual income is less than fifty thousand dollar, then it will be a low income. And then fifty thousand one to one lakh mid income and then greater than of these things greater than of these things is your high income. So now I have created the script. I have created the script and continuously implementing my on my data. So now uh, or you can say that data validation team got this data, these rules already implemented and now data validation team has to, uh, to check that whether it has been implemented on entire data or not. So what data validation team will do is data validation team will take a sample data will take a sample and check the transformation rule. So now what we are doing here is we are also checking a one more task where I want to check that the annual income rule that I have. Okay, so you can just mention that to your rule that I implemented this rule and can you please check that whether this rule is implemented on the entire data or not. So these are the few tasks that data validation team perform during their day-to-day -day activity. Thanks for watching the video. For full course, please visit www.igmguru.com and enroll today.